uh, and also video protection. So uh, Vishal here uh, asked if there is uh, there are uh, any steps that we take uh, for piracy. Uh, so piracy is one of the things that it's uh, it's always on my mind. It's always on 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 you know at CD Circuit we always think about about that, and we do do um, you know we 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 have the technology that we have behind our video streaming is really powerful, uh, but as you can see, you know even Netflix and places like that they don't have a hundred percent protection. I think that if somebody tells you there is a hundred percent protection, they're either not saying telling the truth. Or that 100% protection is going to last three months because people are going to find another way to get in and steal and steal videos. That's just going to happen, right? Uh, so, I mean, it, it's really hard for me to say that because it, it, it but it's just the truth. It's true. I mean, you know, it's that's the way it is. There's nothing that can't be stolen that's digital. I mean, it's just the way it is. All you can do is discourage it, which goes a long way. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I know that my lessons have been uh, recorded, but that's really all you need to do. There's really nothing that could prevent somebody from, I mean, at the very least, somebody could always point their camera recorder at their screen and record exactly. it. So it's like, there's literally nothing yeah. that can stop it. Exactly. And even easier than that, yeah, people could do a Camtasia recording, ironically, yes. of it. <laughs> uh, but being able to discourage it, the streaming nature of it, discourages it quite a bit. And often in the the time that's most critical, which is when it first comes out, mm -hmm. yep. you know, it will take time for someone usually to gravitate towards figuring out how to Camtasia it. And then they have to like cut the videos up and then they have to, you know, upload it and everything else. So yeah, I think that the, the streaming way that it is done here is, is really the best case scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, for this kind of thing. Yeah, and also, it, you, I, I like to also uh, mention here that that's why it's very important that you don't make it about selling. It's really the, the thing is about helping people because when you start helping people, you know, you are going to create a relationship with those people. And so when you establish that relationship, you know, there are people, even though the, the, somebody steals your, your tutorial and it's out there, uh, those people are going to, are not going to, most likely those people are not gonna gonna watch it pirated right They're for sure pirated. for sure and even crazier than that i've had so many people that are fans of applied houdini show me where yeah. things are being pirated or if somebody like took my lesson and was like transformed it not into their own lesson but there was one person who was uh selling the results of the lesson mm -hmm. the actual like houdini file that i help you create I see. And so this people like pointed it out to me and I was able to resolve it with that person. Like, Hey, listen, maybe don't do that anymore. <laughs> and, uh, after some discussion, it worked out. So, but the point is that the, your customers will become advocates for it mm -hmm. because they want to see you succeed. I mean, I was at a movie last night at an independent movie theater and I bought $6 popcorn. Not because I had to, because I wanted to see that movie theater succeed. I have a relationship with this local cinema. It's just like, yeah, most people are not like that. Mm -hmm. And most people, honestly, probably wouldn't even know where to find the <laughs> things anyway. Yeah. So the uh, overall, it is an issue, but in the same way that the movies and music industries have soldiered on, mm -hmm. soldiered on in the face of piracy, it won't end up being a big deal. Yeah. And also as a platform, besides the technology side of things, if, uh, you know, like, like Steve said, we, we do either the authors or people that like uh, the platform, they come to us and say, hey, look at this link. They're sharing this tutorial. And when that happens, we have the systems in place that, you know, we contact uh, in official ways, sometimes forceful ways to contact uh, the, the, the host of the- Yeah, the and that can work actually, yeah. surprisingly so. Uh, if you do have uh, a relationship with a lot of these file hosting websites, they don't necessarily want to be party to this. Mm -hmm. I and mean, they let it happen. They turn a blind eye to it, but then once you point it out, they'll take it down. And a lot of times these uh, people that pirated your stuff in the first place, they stole it, put it up and moved on. 
Mm -hmm. So if you get it taken down, a lot of times it actually doesn't go back up again. Yeah. So yeah, it's great that CG Circuit, uh, you know, does that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're curious about this, at the at the bottom uh, on the footer, there is a link uh, that says uh, DMCA notice. Uh, read through that, and that those are basically the the umbrella that we are under uh, to avoid that this happens. So to make sure that we take the appropriate appropriate steps for uh, protecting the content.